Hello everyone, my name is June Merkel. I'm appointed as artistic advisor to the National Symphony Orchestra and it's a great joy and pleasure working with this wonderful orchestra and its team from the season 21-22 on. I'm now on a journey to discover Taiwan. I like this place. And uh, I like the orchestra because the orchestra is very friendly, very open. They want to work well, they can work well, they have a great potential. And it's a big orchestra so you can play all repertoire you like. Also you have a fantastic management. So all conditions to work well, to get good results, to do exciting programs for the audience are here in place. That led me to be happy to come back and even take up a position. In this coming season, we will focus on three main points for the season, it's the kind of themes we're working on. One is I would like to focus on a composer. This year we will start of a very popular composer, Tchaikovsky, so we get a lot of Russian music. When we concentrate and focus on a popular composer like Tchaikovsky, I think it's important to have different aspects of his music in our program. So we play the very famous symphonies 4, 5, 6, for example, but also we want to present the other, a little lesser known symphonies, 1, 2, 3 or the Manfred. We will have a lot of works of Tchaikovsky in our season, well known or lesser known, to have a really good picture on Tchaikovsky and the following season we shift to another composer. The second theme is, I would call it, the impossible love. And this is a theme which goes to literature a lot and music inspired by this. The most famous is maybe Romeo and Juliet. He inspired so many composers to write really profound music expressing this impossible love. And we have it by Tchaikovsky, yes, again. Berlioz wrote in almost an opera. Prokofiev, of course, in the form of ballet. And Fauré, the French composer. And there are also other couples our plan is to finish the season with a huge, big, important opera project by Wagner, Tristan and Isolde. It was planned for the last season. We were not able to perform it because of crisis. And this was scheduled by Mr. Lu. I'm happy to take this idea into the next season which also should show that I'm trying to work on a continuity. I want to build over the many years further on this tradition. Wagner is a very important composer for this orchestra and it fits to this impossible love, Tristan and Isolde. It's fantastic music, it's uh, very profound. So we have a lot of music around this very emotional theme. And the last thing is we want to make a, a certain point about French music, French music in the 19th century. And one important composer in the center of this is Berlioz. He will be present in a couple of concerts, from also Fauré. So that's the third, let's say, strong point. So we hope with these strong points, we may give a more intense experience about these points, but still we want to also offer a lot of the other repertoire people like to have, a German repertoire, for example, being a little bit specialized and also being traditional at the same time.